All right, so this is going to be a full tour of Cumberland Mountain State Park, in, just outside Crossville, Tennessee. As you pull in to the state park, this is what you're going to see. We are staying in this park. We are camping here. Uh, so we're going to do a full drive through of the campground. It has multiple zones, areas. multiple areas. I believe it's five. I'll confirm that in just a second. So as you drive in, the first thing you're going to see on your right, you'll see these signs that says park office, restaurant, swimming pool, snack bar, rec, camping area to the right, and AV area to the right. So that's the way we're going to go. See right there, it says campgrounds, tent, RV, electric, and water. So you're going to come in. Should I go to the left and show them the registration dump station Yeah. first? Okay. So as you enter... Immediately to your left, you're going to see the sign for camp station, registration, dump station. So we'll go that way first. I guess that's the aviary. It is. I guess that means they have birds. They do. See that big owl? Oh, yeah. Look at that giant owl. Okay. Just hanging out there. Yeah. Okay. And here's the camp store. And I guess that's the window that you registered at. Yeah, okay. So yeah, so you pull through there, talk to the lady at the window. Here's, and I guess when you're leaving, looks like they've got two decent dump stations here. Um, yeah, with water for rinsing out your hoses and tanks. All right, so we're gonna drive back around to that same entrance that we just came in at, and you can see that. Okay. All right, so we're back where we started. Right there, you can see where we turned left to go to the dump stations and the camp registration. So instead, if you go past that, instead of turning left and go straight, You'll come up on camping area one, which says sites one through 28. So let's go ahead and uh, drive through there. Yeah. And I'll try to call out site numbers. So in case you're looking at this and thinking about possibly coming here and you're wondering what a site looks like, I'll try to yell it out. You got Path station to your right. Path station to your right, and we just went past site one. Looks like we're coming up on site two, the one with the blue tarp there. That's site two. There's a fork here. I guess I'm going to go to the left. That's where the. Um, to the right there was site 24. To the left here is site three and four. We're passing three, coming up on four. Site 5 is on the right. Site 6 is right before that reflection fifth wheel. That's a nice little fifth wheel. It is a nice little fifth wheel. Uh, that's Site 8 right there on the end, and that overlooks like a little canyon there. So, Site 9 is to our right. That's site 11 you're looking at right now, where that trash can is. That's site 11. Again, kind of overlooking that cross from it, site 12. Coming up on site 14, where that white uh, F-150 is. I'm not sure what site number that Cedar Creek is parked at, that fifth wheel with the black ram. Or, er, I'm sorry, F-250. Um, we're 
Site 17 right there where that VW is. Site 18 just beyond it where that Black Frontier is. Site 19 is across from it where that Sprinter fifth wheel is you're seeing on your right. Site 20 is right there on your left, that empty site, and that says it has sewer. Now I know a couple, maybe like five or six sites. I think it says 14 sites, 14 throughout, sites. The, throughout the whole campground area. Okay, and park in site 21 where that green truck is says sewer as well. So, and then there was a couple more sites in the middle. I couldn't really show you, but they were kind of in the middle of where we went around. I saw like 24, 25. So there's there's a few in the middle. So that's area one. That's area one. And if we can find a map, it was really hard to try to find a map. But I'm gonna try to get a map and throw it up there for you guys to see. I have it. I downloaded it. Oh, did you download it? Okay, mm -hmm. good. Um, all right, so we're back out on the main road. Camp area two is to the right, so Sites 29 through 62. Okay. Come up here. Site 2. Or area 2. Uh, I guess it uh, doesn't matter. Right or left, huh? Go left. Yeah. The numbers. Okay. okay. Alright. I'm going to the right. So that's site 29 right there. And just beyond that is site 30. Right there, that site you're looking at right there is 30. I'm gonna try to angle my camera a little better here. Site 31 and 32 at the top of this hill here, where the dog is. 32 is where that white truck is. That's pretty much, those are pretty much full sun sites. You're not going to get really too much shade there. Yeah, it appears that it's full sun. There we go. Crank that around a little bit. Okay, so that's leaving area 2. Yeah, that was, Area 2 has like two separate loops apparently, so if you, that was the loop to the right of Area 2, and it brings you back out to the main road, so I'm going to do the loop to the left of Area 2, so we're coming back in Area 2. And as you pull into Area 2, we just got done going right, so this time we're going to go left. And you can see that's a bathhouse right there you're looking at. And as you turn left, at site 36 and 37, across from it where that red SUV is is site 38. That's a Campo site. Passing 37 on the right, coming up on 39 on the right, and 40 on the left where that truck is. So 40 would be right next to the camp post. Now, there's all these inner loops here. Yeah, I don't think we need to go down every inner loop. I see 42 and 44 are down that inner loop to the right. They're very short inner loops. Yeah, they're very short. It looks like there's just a few. Should I go this one here? Or no? I'm not sure. It says exit. Yeah. Go that way. Well, we'll go this way. There's another exit down that way, too. Alright, so there's site 52 on the left. 53 where that VT Cruiser uh, motorcycle and motorhome is. 54 is that first site on the right there. Coming up on 55 on the left. And 56 on the right where that blue truck is. I don't mind these because they're like... 57 on the left. We're passing by now. 58 is up here kind of by itself. You're looking dead at their picnic table right now. And 59 is just beyond it. You're looking at the picnic table now. 
58 is a pretty short sight. Yeah, 58 and 59 are both pretty short. I wouldn't recommend it unless you had a small rig. 60 is on the right here across from it. Site 49 is right there to the right. It says it's handicap accessible. You see that handicap sign there. 50 is on the left here, just across from it. And across from the bathhouses. All right, coming up on 51 on the left. It is across from the bathhouse, but there's nobody to the left or right of you. Nobody across from you except for the bathhouse. All right, and that's gonna put us back on the loop to the right that we just went through. Yeah, so in case you missed it, site 31 and 32, 32 where that um, white truck is. Okay, I think we showed the vast majority of Area 2 said there might have been a few interior sites that we didn't get to because there's there's one more little tiny loop that had a few s spots on it. I'm not gonna go up in their camping area. <laughs> yeah, because it was a little tied up there with the little tight. All right, so there's uh, Area 2 that we just turned into, so we're gonna go past that and on to Area 3. Okay, so this looks like the exit. This is the other exit out of area two that we could have went through. That goes out that little loop there. It's a very large campground. There's lots of, what, how many spots? There's about a hundred, isn't there? There's more than that. More than a hundred? Mm -hmm. We'll give you the numbers on the screen. Unfortunately, it looks like it's starting to sprinkle, so hopefully the rain doesn't mess us up too bad here. All right, so here is camp area number three. It says site 63 through 93 on your right, so we will turn right. Right there where that fifth wheel with that silver ram is that we're looking at right now, it's site 67. Right across from it is 66. 69 is there on your right. 71 is just beyond 69. 68 is across from it. Site 70 is that ram truck with that aspen trail. Uh, beyond that, you get ready to see site 72 on the right where that white uh, trailer is. That's a handicap sign as well. 73, which I'm sorry you can't see because of the angle. Uh, it's across from it. Back here in the back, it looks like they've got a couple of sites closed. They're doing, they're clearing out some of the trees around it. I'm not sure. Site 76 is right next to what you're looking at. Site 78, where that pop up is. 79 just beyond that uh, Site 81 is what you're looking at the back of that uh, camper right now And 80 is across from it 82 is the, where the picnic table you're looking at is right now the Back of this camper that you're looking at that's site 84 83 is across from it 82 where that blue truck is in the Tennessee shelter 87 where that white truck is 86 is across from it 88 where the red truck is on the right 89 is across from it where that lady's running through the campsite and where that site she was going into it looks like it's site 62 where that motorhome was all right, site 90 is on your right where that Silverado is, that silver Silverado. And site 92 where the black SUV is. And 91 is directly across from it. 
and the very last site on the left right here is site 93. This is section 4. Uh, that's site 94 you're looking at right there. Coming up on your left is site 95. Site 96 is just beyond that and where that little red car is with that motorhome that is site 97. To your right is a pull through. I don't know what site number it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, site 5 is off to your right, but we'll go up there in a second. We'll finish site 4 first, or area 4 first. So we're passing site 99 on your left. Try to give you a little bit of angle there. So you can see site 100 coming up on where that little camper is. Site 101 just beyond that. Site 102 where those people are sitting at their picnic tables. Just beyond that, Site 103 that appears to be a camp host. It says volunteer where that white truck is right there with the black camper top on it. That's who both, that's who has the direct TV dish. Mm -hmm. The camp post. 104 just beyond the camp post here on the left. Now immediately to your right, right here is uh, bathhouses across from site 104. Uh, coming up on site 105 on your left. One hundred six, just beyond that, and one hundred eight, where that little camper is with the black truck with the kayaks. Across from it is one hundred seven. Is that one hundred seven? One hundred seven. And these sites in the back here are really nice. As you can see, you are back, fully shaded. Um, this site right here, there's like nobody to the left of you or to the right of you. It's one hundred nine. They look pretty level too. Yeah, they're not the longest sites in here. But they are secluded. One tens across from it. Can't really see because the angle of the truck. Sorry. Let's see if I can angle you that one a little bit. Maybe. Yeah, one eleven right there. Okay, and where that motorhome is, uh, I'll tell you the site. Or no, it's a yeah motorhome. One twelve. Across from it, uh, that where, where that motorhome is is a camp post. That's 113 on the right. Uh, just beyond this truck right here, F-250 is camp site 114. And then where that white truck is, that looks like a 115. It's kind of off here by itself too. And I don't think there's any sights back here. This just loops us back around. But we'll just drive back around. So I think that completes area four. took our dog for a walk back here it's nice it's obviously there's nobody back here it's quiet that one is considered area four as well that site mm -hmm. yeah you can't really see it it's off to the left yeah it's off by itself up the hill it's site I can't even see a number for it to be no. honest Alright, so we're going to turn into Camp Area Site 5. Let's see the sign right here. Uh, and you can get ready to see the one that she was saying is off by itself right there. And that is Site 116. I'm not sure if that's considered 4 or 5. Like right on the edge of 4? Yeah. But by itself, kind of up the hill here, 116. All right, so we're coming into area five right now. As you go 
see the sign here on the right. We'll be passing. Area five. Okay, it looks like your first sight on your left. Huh? Okay, first sight on your left is 118, where that pop-up is. And right across from it, which you're not going to be able to see, is 117. Beyond the pop-up is site 120. And across from 120 is 119. 122, where that SUV and that truck are parked. 121 is across from it. Try to watch out for this little kid here. 123 where that bicyclist is 124 where that uh, mom is standing <laughs> 126 across the street on the right where that uh, black truck and white car is you see 125 on the left where the pop-up is and 127 beyond it where the smoke is 128 on your right 129 and 131 on your left are both handicapped sites, so apparently those are ADA sites. 130 on your right where this uh, fifth wheel is. And normally I would try to get better shots. Oh, and immediately to your left right here is the bathhouse. And the camp house is 120, 132. So the bathhouse is right next to 132. 133, 135, and 137, all on your left here, are mar all marked sewer sites. So, keep that in mind. 136 is on the right, right here, where that black ram is. 138, where that red vehicle is. There's a bit of a downhill here. And you're going to see 140 on your left, kind of, and 141 is just beyond that. 139 on the right where that black F-250 is. Site 142. Turn your left and 143 just beyond it. As, uh, as you're leaving out of section 5. You'll see that right there. That's all the sections. So I think that's that's all the camping sections. Um, like I was getting ready to say, you know, generally we try to film more of uh, the actual sites themselves, but we are here in uh, the end of July in 2020, and it is booked. So there are essentially no empty sites. So I can only show you guys so much and still be respectful of everybody's privacy I know I don't I wouldn't want somebody bringing a camera up in my campsite um, but yeah so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try to I think we're gonna try to show you guys some of the public areas I guess yes um, so stay tuned for that all right you know how when you first came in we went right to go into the camping area this is if you don't turn right you just keep going straight Right here is the park office information, cabin registration. On the left is the lake. Can I see the lake? Oh, no. Nope. No. No, but we're getting ready to go over the bridge that goes over the lake. Yeah. At the dam. Now you can see the lake. Now oh, you can see the lake. So this is the dam over the lake. On the way back, I'll have Jamie pick up the camera. All right, it says to the left is State Park Restaurant, Cabins, Boat Dock, Picnic Area, and Shelters. You want to go that way? Sure. Let's go. We're exploring. That's the restaurant to the left there. Looks like it. We can pull in. Yeah, we'll pull in and drive through here. 
Well, yeah, I think we kind of have to. Alright, it says cabin area, boat dock, shelter for you. Want me to cruise through the parking lot? Sure. Yeah, this is the restaurant and it looks like a day use area or something here. We can go down to that map that's down there. Maybe yeah. Don't have us inside. Yep, Homestead Harvest Restaurant. We have not eaten in there. No. So I cannot vouch for what the food's like. <laughs> There's also a swimming pool in this park. We're not going to be able to show you the swimming pool because they have it closed due to COVID. Thanks, Rona. Said she saw a map down here we can go take a look at yeah, the area I, think I guess. If you park here okay. there might be a map maybe. Maybe. Oh. oh no it tells you about David Crockett. Oh. So there's little signs about David Crockett. A Tennessee legacy. Oh look, they have a, a uh, electric car recharge station down here too. Oh cool. In case you have a electric car, it's a Blink uh, electric car station. Right there. Mm -hmm. Two of them. It's good to know. Very cool. Yeah. Alright. Boat dock is to your left, shelter to your left, picnic area, cabin area to your right. Yeah. We're not going to go up in the cabin area because we're not staying in a cabin. We're not staying in a cabin, <laughs> and that would be kind of disrespectful to the people that are up in that area. Yeah, this is where you can park to get down to the lake, it looks like. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to have to turn around. That's fine. There is no... Oh yeah, there is an outlet. Never mind. Didn't look like it. It didn't look like it pulled through. The park has several different hiking trails. There are mountain biking trails. Um, they have ADA compliant hiking trails. There's a... I want to say a tennis court and a basketball court. Yeah, so very nice state park stuff to do. All right, so we're coming back out to where that restaurant is, and I reckon we can turn left and see what's up there. Sorry for the bouncy video. I mean, these roads are. A little uh, they're not the worst roads ever but they do have some cracks and potholes on yeah them. they're not super smooth okay so there's a playground up here looks like you angle the camera a little bit to the right the playground there on the right hand side with some picnic tables Looks like some bathrooms are straight ahead right there. But yeah, the, the back there is where the tennis courts are. More playground equipment. There's where the tennis, court, tennis courts. And then back there. You want me to go that way? No. Okay. It's kind of narrow and I can't tell if it's one way back there or not. But that's where the tennis courts are. There's a picnic shelter up in there. Yeah, it looks like there's an outlet, but their park ranger is parked in the outlet, so. Yeah. There's more picnic tables on the right here. Just nice shaded area. I guess if you wanted to come down and just enjoy lunch. Maybe we got some grills, so if you brought a 
bag of charcoal, I reckon you could uh, grill you up some burgers. Nice little day use. Mm. Oh, and right here to our right, you didn't see it, there is bus parking. So, I guess if you had an RV, travel trailer or something, you just, and you were just passing through, or you're waiting for your spot to become available, or something like that, you could come up in here and park and use the picnic area and whatnot. There was bus parking. It looked like it was long enough for... I mean, I, I don't know if you're going to get a triple axle toy hauler in there, but you, you could definitely get, you know, 20 to 30 foot camper on a Right? Left. That just takes you up to the highway. Okay, so we'll go back right. Jamie's gonna take the camera here and show you the lake that we passed over. Because we're on the we're on the bridge right now, the dam, the dam bridge. <laughs> and there's the lake. And there's a pier to fish off of down there. Looks like some pretty good spots to put your kayaks in. Lots of places to sit around the lake. And they have several, several hiking trails. It is. It's the ADA, one of the ADA compliant ones. Yeah. All right. Is there anything to the right up here? Or? Just this camping entrance and the swimming entrance is across from the camping entrance, but it's closed. Okay. Well, then I guess that concludes our tour, huh? That concludes. All right, guys. Uh, remember, if you like this video, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't already, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. We do lots of vlogs. We uh, try to give people tours of everywhere we go camping. Uh, so go ahead and subscribe so you can get notif en enable notifications so you can get the notifications when we put out these new videos. And until next time, uh, keep living that vacay life, y'all. Bye.